All right, we're going to move this along here to closing statements. Again, these were decided by a random draw. Ms. Gay, you're first. Mayor Maynard Jackson once said, the problem is not with the bad guys. The problem is that the good guys have gone to sleep. He was right. I'm running for mayor to wake up the good guys. All of you who don't feel heard, who don't feel like your city government listens to you, don't feel like that it makes decisions with you in mind, that it's too top down, that it's too indifferent. I'm all those business and civic leaders who want to help the city but have been shut out. The, the civic and charitable organizations like our parks conservancies that haven't been able to effectively partner with the city and our neighborhoods that don't feel heard. I'm running to be the mayor who will who will wake up all of those good guys, bring organize the government to bring all of those groups together to address our challenges. We have some great challenges, but we have great opportunity. We are a great city. We need to think like it and act like it. And that's what I would help our city do as mayor. Mr. Reed. Ladies and gentlemen at home, you've got a decision to make. You have to think about what Atlanta was like four years ago when crime was at record lows. We never raised property taxes. We left 200 million in cash reserves and we left the city with double A plus credit from Standard and Poor's Moody's from Fitch and we had an economy that's booming. What's putting that at risk right now is violent crime and murder. You have to ask yourself which individual is most able to galvanize the support of the police department, the fire department, and push back against this surge of crime and violence, which is the issue in this campaign. It is the reason that our neighbors in Buckhead are thinking about leaving. I offer myself humbly uh, to be your mayor. And tonight, I ask you for your support and your vote. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Ms. Moore? Atlanta, I'm Felicia Moore, and I want to be our next mayor. I've served you for many years with integrity. You know my word is my bond. I say what I'm going to do. We are in perilous times, as everyone has acknowledged, and we need to make sure that every neighborhood in this city is safe. And I'm going to work day one and every day that I wake up as your next mayor to make sure that you are safer because that's my number one duty. And then the money that you're paying to this city to give you the basic services that you deserve, I'm going to fix it. We do the big things great, but I'm going to get in the weeds and I'm going to fix those things so that we can have a city that we can all be proud of. And you know I'm going to be transparent. You're going to know what I'm doing. You're going to be able to see how your money's being spent and not abused. You're going to make sure you're going to know that it's going to be done ethically and with integrity. And most importantly, you're going to know. Thank you. Because I always have been that I'm accountable to you. Councilman Dickens. I'm Andre Dickens. And this election is about the future and the soul of Atlanta. Are we going to move forward in peace, productivity and prosperity? Are we going to go backwards into displacement, distrust, destruction, and corruption? No. I say we move forward in prosperity, equity, and in safety. That's why I have a Safe Streets plan that's been vetted by former police chiefs across this nation. I also have an affordable housing plan because I've been called the, by Atlanta Magazine the affordable housing champ. I'm going to build or preserve 20,000 units of affordable housing in eight years. And we're going to be a, a city that uh, provides opportunities for people to go from poverty to prosperity, like in my Tech Bridge technology program that's trained hundreds of people's lives by training them in high tech jobs for free. We're going to make sure we overcome this tale of two cities. I'm Andre Dickens. I'll make you safe and I'll make you proud. Thank you, Councilman Brown. Atlanta, our city leaders have failed us. They have operated from a reactive basis and have only seeked to treat the symptoms of the issues we're facing in our city. We need proactive leadership. We need leadership that truly can move Atlanta into the future. For decades, we've failed some of our most vulnerable communities leaving behind residents that have no opportunity at a better tomorrow. As mayor, I will create a socioeconomic shift and move our working middle class into becoming small business owners and moving our po folks living in generational poverty 
to our working middle class so that we can create an inclusive ecosystem where no Atlantan is ever left behind again. Thank you. Mr. Brown, thank you. And finally, Ms. King. Thank you. I'm Rebecca King. I'm not a career politician. I'm a mother, a board member, a neighborhood planning unit representative, and I'm here to give you a choice, a choice where you can make a difference and not continue to do the same thing over and over again. We've had roads in Atlanta that haven't been paved at all, some roads that haven't been paved in 30 years. Our crumbling infrastructure needs to be addressed. We know there's crime. We need to work together and bring that solution so that everybody in Atlanta feels safe, whether they live here or if they visit here. It's time, Atlanta, and I'm your mayor to rejuvenate your spirit. Thank you, Ms. King.